There is something special about fishing for trout. You get addicted. In Norwegian, we call it fiskegal. When you become fiskegal, you always think about the next fishing trip, planning it months ahead, always thinking about the big one that got away and how to catch even bigger trout next time. I became fiskegal when I was a kid, but fortunately, I found ways to live with it. A trip to the north of Norway is one of them. Studying maps and planning the next trip is what gets us through the long winter. Finding new spots to try and dreaming about catching big trout. And there we were, about as far north as you can go on Norwegian mainland. Above the Arctic Circle, in wild and remote nature, a true fishing paradise. We were a group of five this time. A few aspiring fishing addicts and then the rest of us, some with more severe addiction than the others. And then me, the camera guy, drone operator and the only fly fisher in the group. After hiking with heavy backpacks for about five hours, we had finally arrived in paradise. The next morning it was time for fishing and the competition was on. Who would catch the biggest fish? For a short moment, life was perfect. It was our time in paradise, catching big trout and spending quality time around the fire. While we do practice catch and release, we also keep fish for food while being out in the wild. Nothing beats the taste of fresh trout cooked on the fire.
men jag men jag ska inte spisa bein då. Bein då är inte så gott. Full of energy after that delicious meal, we made a decision to move camp to another spot in the hunt of even bigger trout. We quickly packed up the camp, hiked a few kilometers and established new camp as soon as we could. Just seconds after the camp was up, the old man was on it again, this time catching a huge trout, the biggest on this trip, which made him the winner of the biggest fish competition. Needless to say, he was very happy with the catch, and the kids got inspired too. Oj, den var stor! Den var stor! Den var en stor fisk. Kom hit, tror du den här gör? Kanske... 5-6-7 kilo. Den väger nog kanske 1,5-2 kilo. Den var stark. Then the time had come to prepare the last meal before heading back home. We had a great trip and made some great memories. And if I'm not mistaken, some of us have already been planning the next trip for months. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks, and see you next time!